Jacob Star is back, baby. What's up? I don't know what happened, but my name is back. I'm totally kidding. I actually do know exactly what happened. Uh, basically, I wanted to change my name because I feel like a lot of people just know me for Supreme. And I want to do more than just Supreme, to be honest. Like, it gets kind of boring as a creator just showing off one brand that I like. I love Supreme, but I like a lot of other brands. And so I want to show off more than just Supreme, Palace, FTP. And I do have some videos planned. However, I wanted to do a name change just because I feel... Like, I'm known for Supreme so much. Uh, that being said, a lot of people were hitting me up and they were like, yo, like, I got the notification, but I didn't realize that it was you, so I just didn't even click on it. I just thought it was some other random person. So after quite a bit of deliberation, I decided to change it back. Hopefully, I still end up in the sub boxes of the individuals that did not realize it was me posting. That being said, if you are into clothing-related videos or men's fashion, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to the right of it to be notified when I post a video. I believe it. To ask you if you want to be notified all the time or sometimes make sure you select to be notified all the time since I'm begging for your subscription before you even watch the video I might as well just beg you to smash that like button and leave a comment down below if I shout louder and beg for less harder YouTube will be sure to promote my video okay so now I have to make stuff today's video is gonna be discussing the supreme drop kind of funny since I just said I want to do more than supreme and I'm gonna discuss the supreme drop. as you guys know if you're not subscribed to this channel Every week we have to go over the Supreme drop list. This week is headlined by the Supreme Spitfire collaboration. Overall, I'm not a huge fan of this week. I think that there are a couple heaters dropping, so it's an okay week, but just nothing crazy in my personal opinion. But let me put these uh, trifocals on and uh, discuss this week, baby. I'm gonna clean these. <sighs> yeah. Get these nice and clear. Open up my boy drops by Jay's. Twitter page. Speaking of Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is going to be at the start. There'll be some on the screen and in the description below. I will do some polls. And also, most importantly, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is also at the star life. That's going to be somewhere on the screen and in the description below right underneath this video in the description, you know what I'm saying? I got some sick photos and I got some really dope photos coming, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm also going to post some polls on Instagram as well, some copper drop polls or some colorway polls for this Spitfire collaboration and possibly even do some kind of poll for this Vans collaboration. I'm not... Uh, I'll discuss this Vans collaboration in a moment, but anyways, as I was saying, this week is headlined by the Supreme Spitfire collaboration. In this collab, we are seeing a coach's jacket, I believe two t-shirts, a hoodie, some cargo shorts, some wheels, and a skate tool. I actually have never purchased anything Spitfire except for a huge Spitfire sticker that I used to have on my bike back in the day when I used to BMX. And I had like a, a number plate with a huge Spitfire sticker on the front of it. And that was pretty sick. But yeah, other than that, I've never really purchased anything Spitfire. I'm not a huge fan of any of these items. Um, this uh, little Spitfire like stick graphic where it says Spitfire wheels is nothing crazy to me. They use that on the coach's jacket, the t-shirts, and uh, that's it. On the coach's jacket, on the front left chesticle, they have this pattern that looks kind of like a skateboard wheel. It has these concentric circles. I do kind of like this pattern, and I do like this on the t-shirt and the hoodie. I will say, though, my one complaint is I don't really like any of the colorways. My favorite colorway is probably the green, and then I'd have to say, like, the black and then purple. I like those t-shirts that have that pattern on the front, but I also like the hoodies that have it on the back as well. I believe they also have a small one on the left chesticle. They have the cargo shorts, which I do like the idea of the cargo shorts. It's just I'm not a big fan of cargo shorts. I get it though. It's summertime. You gotta do shorts. So okay, okay. You get a pass. I just would have preferred some cargo pants and I might have actually copped those if they were cargo pants just because I like that pattern. And I like that little graphic on the cargo pocket. The wheels look pretty sick and I think it's kind of cool that they're doing a skateboard tool of course since it is a skateboarding brand but since I am not a skateboarder it does not really appeal to me in any type of way so yeah for me personally I don't really know if I'm going to acquire anything I might end up getting uh, one of their t-shirts but other than that I don't plan on going for anything else from this collaboration now another thing some people were excited for were the Supreme Vans collaborations and oh man was this a letdown they're doing skate mids not skate highs and lamp pins um yeah, I don't like these. I don't like these at all. I mean, not only do I not like that silhouette or that shoe because I don't like the panels or the shapes of the panels, but just the colorways they chose were so trash. It's like they just had leftover shit. Like, I just, I absolutely despise these colorways. Uh, 
I'm just not much of a fan. I also don't like that they did two different textures. They did like the croc and corduroy. That's just strange to me. I will say though, to give them a little bit of credit, at least the croc is like some kind of tonal pattern. It doesn't seem like it stands out too much. It's just kind of texturized. Um, but yeah, then you go over to Skate High, same thing, just these ugly colorways. If I had to pick, I would say the baby blue and that like tan color is probably the best. I'm just not a fan of these at all. I do like that it's got Supreme and Old English across the back, but that's literally about it. That's like all I can really say that's positive about these shoes. I'm not a fan of this collaboration, and I just feel like once again, Supreme has let me down when it has come to their collaborations. I have heard a lot of people that really enjoy the Spitfire collaboration, so maybe if you skateboard, maybe you enjoy that. Just for me personally, I'm not much of a fan, and like I said, I just... I just don't care about it that much. I wouldn't say it's bad, it's just a collaboration that I don't really care about. And because I like the Spitfire, like, flame face graphic or whatever, I would have liked to see some stuff with that. But I get it, you gotta do some new stuff, you know what I'm saying? Do some new, do something a little new, you know what I'm saying? Now they are dropping some lookbook items and once again, I'm not a huge fan. As you guys know, first week they dropped the majority of the good lookbook pieces, so they've been kind of struggling when it comes to the lookbook. However, there are a couple pieces that I know some people are excited for. For example, this eagle vest. A good friend of mine, Bougie Main, actually uh, really is quite excited about this vest. I also believe uh, Magnus liked this vest, but I think that he didn't like the Supreme branding or something. I'm personally not a fan of this vest. I think the eagle looks actually ridiculous. It doesn't look like a menacing eagle at all. This eagle looks like it's like a pot belly, like... I don't know, it's just a weird graphic. They're also dropping this velour polo and velour shorts, and once again, I'm not a fan of either of these, and I believe that both of them are just whatever. Oh, that's a football top. Okay, that makes sense. Anyways, they're dropping a AK football top, and it comes in a plethora of colors. I'm not a fan of really any of those colors, and I don't really care for the contrast stitching. Yeah, that's gonna be a pass. They're dropping this, like, short sleeve polo. Once again, gonna be a pass. They are dropping these vertically striped uh, short sleeve rayon shirts, I believe. I don't know if they're rayon, actually. They might just be buttoned down, so let me check. Oh, no, it's linen, so it's not rayon. I'm actually kind of more of a fan of that, and I do like these colors. I think this is one of the harder pieces, and is definitely something that I do actually kind of like. I like the baby blue and the white, and then I also kind of like the khaki and the white. I probably will not acquire them, but I do think that's probably one of my favorite pieces dropping this week. I'm trying to figure out what this tee is. Is this like an overdyed tee, or? No, it's not that. Oh, that's what it is. It's the mesh stripe top, so you can't really see from the actual uh, Jobs by J preview, just because, you know, shout to Twitter, and you guys, uh, freaking uh, compressing the uploads but anyways it basically says supreme in like some kind of repeat pattern throughout the entire thing it looks like it's made of uh mesh and cotton and uh yeah i mean this is chill i guess if you want to rep the brand it's kind of an okay piece it's branded pretty heavy i'm not a huge fan of it but yeah i don't know it's whatever to me. Now, one of the more hyped items they are dropping definitely has to be this hatchet. That's probably going to be the only thing that I really go for this week. I might actually keep this for my personal collection, but at the same time, I'm just not sure because usually when I go camping, I don't really use an axe. Anything that I need, I just use my K-Bar Bowie knife, as you guys may know. What the fuck is that? The black blade, but... Yeah, um, I don't know. I probably will not buy this to I'll probably end up just buying this to resell, if I'm being honest. They have done a lot of cool camping gear this season, but... Yeah, last but not least, after the hatchet, they are dropping these hats, and these hats, as you guys know, they are all trash. I kind of just need to talk about them a little bit, so that way I can have enough time to put them all on the screen, and you guys have enough time to actually get a decent look at them, but I'm not a fan. I wouldn't say they're actually garbage, per se. I would just say I do not care for them. But anyways, what do you guys think of this week's drop list? What are you guys going for? Are you guys hyped on the Spitfire collaboration or this Vans collaboration? What do you guys think? What are your favorite pieces from this week? Personally, I have to say my favorite lookbook item. Not in terms of what I'm going for, but what my favorite personal piece is, is that striped linen shirt. I think that's a really sick piece, and I could definitely see some people pulling that off. Me, personally, I will not be going for it, just because I just don't really see much of a point. As for the Spitfire collaboration, I'm not really against wearing skateboard stuff. I mean, even this, like, this is a black scale hoodie when they collabed with Grizzly. So, like, Grizzly is obviously Grizzly Grip Tape, a skateboard company. I don't care about wearing skateboard brands or not, but just, I don't know, this collaboration is... It's just okay to me. I guess I might get the t-shirt. So I'd probably get the hatchet, and then if they have the green t-shirt available, I'll probably cop one of those as well. But, um, 
yeah, that's basically it. What do you guys think? Like I said, let me know down in the comments. Like I said earlier, make sure you smash that like button. Most importantly, if you learned one thing from this video, it's to go follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram's at the Starlife. That's T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. -E. So we still on the screen and the description below. So peace the fuck out. Thank you for watching. Damn, I got really hyped towards the end. But yeah, okay. Peace out. But nigga, what's really good? Hey. My niggas, what's that you want? I